Hello guys and welcome to another video today by a &J Reacts. This is Jake here and I'm going to be covering the huge story that has been announced today. It's only come through this morning. Chelsea have sacked Thomas Tuchel as their head coach. Now, I am extremely shocked to hear about this. I literally woke up about just an hour ago and I woke up and to the news that Chelsea have sacked Thomas Tuchel. They've just come off a very embarrassing defeat to uh, Dynamo Zagreb in the Champions League. And, I mean, this is now the second coach um, that has been sacked in the Premier League after a very short amount of games. Granted that Chelsea have not been doing well at all. They've lost three away games. They've scraped through a vast majority of their matches by the skin of their teeth. But... To be sacked this early on in the season seems quite harsh to me. I mean, just going through what he's done at Chelsea over the years, coming in in the uh, 2021 season, I think he, uh, if I'm not mistaken, in January after he got sacked by Paris Saint-Germain, he then takes the job for Chelsea. And in that season, they go all the way to win the Champions League. And he got a tremendous praise for that. And then uh, winning the trophies that came along uh, from winning the Champions League, uh, UEFA Super Cup, Club World Cup. You know, he'd done uh, some very good things for Chelsea. He won a few trophies. Then next season after that, getting top four through the league, getting knocked out in the quarterfinals by the champions uh, that were going, the people that were going to win that tournament in Real Madrid. Losing very narrowly on the scorecards. So, so that overall as a season was average. But then this season, yes, they've not started well at all. But you can't just sack someone from just a very few games. Like Bournemouth sacked their coach due to the after four games. Um, one was a win against a very strong Nottingham Forest who've signed a great number of players. And then they lose to the likes of Man City, they lose to Arsenal, and then they lose to Liverpool. I think the main reason was because of how bad they were lost to Liverpool in that game, losing 9-0. But those are games that you can't expect Bournemouth to win. And Chelsea as well. Like There's been a few changes in the squad, like losing a world-class centre-back in Rudiger, one of the best in the world. Um... Bringing in uh, new players, they haven't got a striker, and they've just come into the season still having some injuries. Kante having a few injury problems, Chilwell not being 100%, and now he's coming back into the squad. Uh, they should have given him a little bit more time, I believe, than Thomas Tuchel. I mean, I've never rated him that much personally as a manager. Uh, when he won the Champions League, a lot of people started overrating him, uh, saying he's on the level of Klopp. And Pep Guardiola, which, um, granted, he's done something that Pep Guardiola still, uh, has not done, and that is win the Champions League with this English side that he's with. But just one good season does not make a great coach. Uh, you have to be consistent. And I can understand from Chelsea's standpoint on why they made the decision to uh, sack Thomas Tuchel. But in my humble opinion, I think it was much too soon for them to make the big decision of sacking him because where they want to really realistically go, they need a well-experienced coach in terms of winning trophies, competing for the big clubs. But here comes the next bit. They have already made an approach for Brighton coach Graham Potter. They have approached him to be the new coach. This is a very big risk, I believe. Very, very risky and bold decision on Chelsea's part. You know, Graham Potter, he's a good coach. I am not taking that away. And he's coaching at the very highest of levels. And he has made Brighton into a very top... He is a very good team. Like, they managed to beat some top teams over the last couple of seasons. They play some good defensive football. They can score goals. And... Since his uh, appointment in 2019, like, it's just been on the up and up for Brighton. But then he managed Swansea for less than a season. 
and then I believe he went on to Brighton and before that, Osterson. Play, he, he's won a few things with Osterson, and I think they beat Arsenal in the Europa League while he was coach, if I'm not mistaken. So that he's done some very good things in his coaching career, but he's never coached a team at the level of Chelsea. And sometimes, in history, sometimes that has worked, but most of the time that has not worked. He has not got enough experience at the top level. I, He's played European football, but that was during his time at Osterton. He's not ever managed a Champions League level club. He's only managed three clubs. He's been a coach, granted, for 11 years. So he has got a great deal of experience, but it's not the right experience. Even though he has made some monsters of certain players and brought in, and his player management is actually very good. Whether or not he will be able to bring Chelsea what they want is competing for the league, getting top four, going far in the Champions League. I don't know because we've never seen him deal with like some of the superstars that Chelsea do possess. So the likes of Rhys James, the guy that can say, Koulibaly, Sterling, like top, top players. And like whether or not the egos will get the better of him. But aside from Grand Potter, even though that is the approach that Chelsea have made, there are prob there are still some coaches out there that could be well assigned to the job. This is only like the first move from Chelsea. I don't know whether or not Potter's going to take the job. He could very much be happy at Brighton. There is some of the likes of Maurizio Pochettino is still without a job. And could be a very well match suited replacement for Thomas Tuchel. Just recently, having been sacked as the Paris Saint Germain coach um, from failing to get to a respectable stage of the Champions League and knocked out in the round of 16 by the winners of last year's competition, Real Madrid. And well known for his successful spell at Tottenham as a coach, ended up taking them to incredible heights, challenging for the Champions League, challenging for the Premier League, although he granted he did not win any trophies, he made Spurs into a competitive side for the big trophies. And he, I think, could very much be well suited to the role and he could make this into a well-oiled machine in Chelsea. Uh, in terms of other coaches available, I mean... I don't know whether Zidane might uh, make a choice of coming to Chelsea. I mean, granted, it's probably a team that's not very much suited to his uh, managing style. But, you know, there's someone who was so successful and was one of the greatest players of all time, you know that the players are going to give him every ounce of respect that they have. And they will listen to whatever he says. But whether or not this is the right team for him, I'm not too sure. And then the, those are really the only realistic two options that Chelsea could go for other than Graham Potter. They made an approach for him. And that is very questionable dispute decision when, if that will be successful. Now, these are the three favourites, in my opinion, of candidates that could take the Chelsea job. Let me know, guys, what you think in the comments by stating which one of these would be better suited to the job. Or if there is someone else who you believe should be a candidate to take the Chelsea role, please pop it down in the comments. Please like if you've enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe. Come join the a &J family. Much love.